The UK property market was seldom affected by the economic harm caused by the multiple lockdowns throughout the COVID years. The cost of housing kept skyrocketing in many places. But now, however, we are starting to witness a decline in property values following a severe economic slowdown brought on by the European war and a dramatic rise in gasoline and interest rates as a result. For a long time, buyers of real estate in the southeast and other popular regions have been plagued by the stamp duty land tax. Stamp duty further complicates the process of getting onto the property ladder in these places due to the exorbitantly high cost of houses. However, in some parts of the United Kingdom, it is feasible to purchase a sizable family house without ever having to pay the government a single penny for the privilege. There is an abundance of readily available property in more affordable parts of the United Kingdom for individuals whose occupations are more movable. In today's video, we will talk about the eight cheap places to buy a house in the UK. So, make sure to watch the video till the end, and if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos we upload. Number 8. Antrim and Belfast Belfast, a stunning city known for housing the shipyard that constructed the Titanic, has experienced many difficulties throughout the years. The welcoming attitude towards guests, however, stands in stark contrast to the ongoing sectarian strife that has split groups within this metropolis. Belfast's city centre is lively and bustling, offering fantastic recreational opportunities. Fascinating historical monuments, amazing commercial avenues and first-rate transportation connections. In 2023, prices on the Ulster Property Sales website were £75,000 to £95,000 for comfortable three-bedroom homes in this vibrant, historic city. Number 7. Newcastle upon Tyne the Newcastle-upon-Tyne region of Tyne and Ware has an abundance of three-bedroom houses priced between £90,000 and £100,000, especially in Fenham, West Denton, Throckley and Leamington. In this area, smart, contemporary semi-detached homes start at about £115,000. On the other end of the spectrum, much under £400,000 can be paid for large, attractive, detached and semi-detached homes in more desirable neighbourhoods like Fenham and Westerhope. Together with the shipyards located farther down the River Tyne, the port grew over the 16th century to become one of the biggest shipbuilding and ship repairing hubs in the world. Since then, these sectors have declined, and Newcastle-upon-Tyne is now primarily a business and cultural hub with fantastic retail options and a bustling nightlife. Number 6. Leeds, West Yorkshire A recent census indicates that Leeds, a city in West Yorkshire, is the third most populous metropolitan region in the United Kingdom. Leeds was previously home to a sizable, prosperous network of wool and linen factories, making it one of the greatest success stories of the Industrial Revolution. Currently, Leeds maintains its standing as the commercial, financial and cultural centre of West Yorkshire. Properties in the £110,000 to £130,000 price range were easily accessible, according to my search. The surrounding towns of Wakefield and Pontefract have slightly higher low-end pricing, but they all have listings for reasonably priced livable homes starting at £115,000. But costs are far lower in Bradford, a few miles away, where deals can be found in the £85,000 to £95,000 price range. Number 5. Stoke-on-Trent the many potteries that sprang up in and around Stoke-on-Trent starting in the 17th century are well known. Among the more well-known china producers from this region are Wedgwood, Minton and Royal Dalton. The potteries, along with the country's plentiful coal and iron resources, guaranteed the region's prosperity for several decades. But more recently, there has been a significant increase in unemployment due to pit closures and the closing of many manufacturers and steelworks. These days, the area's tourism potential is starting to be taken advantage of, and the canal system and the China Works both bring in a sizable number of tourists annually. In the potteries, in locations like Stoke-on-Trent and Newcastle-under-Lyme, a three-bedroom terraced house may be purchased for as little as £85,000 to £95,000. 
These more affordable residences are frequently buy-to-let houses with an existing tenant, or they require renovations. An unfurnished, semi-detached house in good condition can be purchased for approximately £95,000. Even while prices in this area have increased significantly in recent years, they still offer fantastic value. Number 4. Liverpool Vibrant Liverpool, home of the Beatles and Scylla Black, is a city rich in creative and musical legacy. It also offers a large selection of affordably priced terraced houses with three bedrooms. The most affordable examples I saw in this area were listed for somewhat less than £80,000, and there were several appealing but basic residences in the Liverpool, Netherton and Bootle districts that were priced between £75,000 and £90,000. You can pay a little less for ready-to-let properties already leased and for DIY project homes. Liverpool has seen a dramatic transformation in recent years because to an extensive and ambitious rebuilding effort, and it is now regarded as one of the country's premier business and cultural hubs, despite the abundance of affordable housing appearing to suggest otherwise. Of course, it's possible that the housing market is only momentarily behind overall trends. Please conduct your own research before spending your money, because there are still many areas of Liverpool that might use a significant facelift. There has undoubtedly been a notable increase in lower-end house prices in this area, as well as other places I've looked into, but prices do appear to be starting to decline again, as shown by the numerous price reductions posted in local estate agents' windows. Number 3. Rhonda, Glamorgan A three-bedroom terraced house in the outstandingly charming and scenic Welsh Rhonda Valley can be bought for as little as £65,000 through a regular estate agent, or for quite a lot less through property auction. Several houses in Tony Pandy, Merdy and Ferndale were listed for roughly that amount on right move, and there were several more in the £75,000 to £85,000 price bracket that were all marketed as being in good condition. Some older ads have lower prices. Never hesitate to barter. Listed in this price range are Treherbert, Maesteg and Port Talbot, among other places. Over the seven years since I first put this list together, prices in this area have steadily increased, but nevertheless, it offers great value when compared to other parts of the UK. The Rhonda Valley was formerly well known for having a large number of coal mines, but substantial unemployment remained after the local pits closed in the 1990s. The abundance of cheap houses for sale in this area is a reflection of the suffering that these communities still endure. The main town in the Rhonda Valley, Tony Pandy, is well served by the Taff Vale railway line and offers the most job prospects. Number 2. Stanley, County Durham Stanley in County Durham was formerly a coal mining town. Once a bustling colliery town, it is now well liked as a commuting hub, with the majority of job prospects being in Durham and neighbouring Newcastle upon Tyne. The town has recently seen significant investment, with new recreational facilities, a solar-powered bus interchange, and a new swimming pool. In addition, Stanley already boasts a highly respected performance space, the Lamplight Arts Centre, that plays host to a variety of events like comedy performances, boxing fights, and music gigs. The town hosts a twice-weekly market on Thursdays and Saturdays, and there is a decent distribution of supermarkets. Stanley has experienced economic hardship for the most of the last 30 years due to the closure of the coal pits and the loss of other significant employers in the area. Local house prices are a reflection of this well-liked by commuters. The town can be reached in around 20 minutes by car from Newcastle and Durham. Here, a simple three-bedroom mid-terrace house is available for approximately £65,000. Number 1. Grimsby Located near the point where the Humber Estuary meets the North Sea on its south bank, Grimsby is a significant seaport on the east coast of England. For much of northern and eastern Lincolnshire, the Grimsby Cleethorpes Connor Basin serves as the industrial and cultural centre. In contrast to its gloomy image, Grimsby is a bustling, energetic town with a thriving bar and club culture, an extensive shopping centre and first-rate transportation options, including a small airport. In the 1990s and early 2000s, Grimsby's fishing sector was mostly lost, leaving a significant legacy of unemployment that dramatically lowered the town's housing prices. 
Even with improved employment prospects, a small three-bedroom house in Grimsby can still be purchased for approximately £60,000. DIY projects and rented buy-to-let properties can be purchased for significantly less. In this location, property auctions are a great option for a cash buyer or buy-to-letter and are highly popular. This brings us to the end of this video. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing and sharing so we can keep bringing more content like this. Also, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you next time.